Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to do a little review of the Sony Ericsson S Pen, the M1i, I believe, yeah, that's what it says. I already made a uh, unboxing video of it, should be right up here. And uh, in this video I'm going to, well, basically, basically review it and show you some of the features this phone had back in its glory days. So, I'm not going to waste your time anymore and uh, get in it. And here it is, my gloves are on. Now, take the phone, let me take the phone out and the, the battery. And while I'm at it, this is one of Sony Ericsson's Green Heart versions, apparently. Yeah, so the Green Heart stuff, uh, it's about uh, reducing their f carbon footprint uh, or something, I believe. Uh, it basically means no more physical manuals, just the uh, ebooks for their products and uh, also the wall charger, <laughs> something interesting about it. When you leave the wall charger, uh, well, in the wall and without the phone attached, it will only consume about 0 0.3 kilowatts of hour per hour something like that now let's get back to the phone this phone uses a the bst 41 battery 1500 milliamp power 4.2 volts now about the phone this is the phone not too big not too small the display is a three, uh, 320 by uh, 240 pixels, 4, 4 by 3 ratio. And the display, uh, it, the screen is also a TFT touchscreen sensitive one. It has a QWERTY keyboard, the receive and end call, OK, the D-pad. I believe this is the menus. It also comes pre-installed with uh, Windows Mobile 6.5.3 Professional. Yeah, this is what you find on the front. Here's the microphone and the earpiece. On the top, the power button, the 3.5mm audio jack. On the bottom, nothing. On the left side, the charging port and data port at the same time, the micro USB. On the right side, the volume up and down button. On the back, we have the 3.2 megapixel camera, the loudspeaker, a stylus. This is for uh, external antenna, I believe, and the back cover with this interesting uh, design. To open it up, from the you have to put your fingers on the sides here, left and right, and pull it out. This is how it looks in the back. M1i. Put a SIM card in. It needs a big SIM. The micro SIM and nano SIM weren't a thing back then. Come on. Okay, it's in its place. Let's turn it on. It vibrated so it turns on. While it's turning on, let me tell you about the CPU. It's a 600 megahertz ARM 11. And the GPU is an Adreno 200. I don't know how good that is. <laughs> it has a 256 megabytes of RAM and 100 megabytes of ROM. It should have, well, it has a dedicated memory card slot and it should have included a four gigabytes memory card. The camera can record that for 480p, 15 FPS. <laughs> yeah. It has GPS, Wi Fi, A, well, A GPS, Stereo FM, micro, yeah, this is the micro USB 2.0, and all the other normal stuff like MP3 player, MP4. Also, it was announced and released in the same year, 2010. Only that it was announced in, uh, on February and released in July. So this is how it looks. One thing I know about Sony Ericsson is that they customize the the OS the OS for their phone. For example, I wouldn't have guessed this is Windows. Well, after uh, you see Windows Live and stuff like this, yeah. 
Can't, no, we don't need that. I don't know in what language this is, but uh, I unfortunately we can't change it. On Windows Mobile, you can't change the language unless you install a language pack or completely reinstall the firmware, which I'm not going to do because, uh, well, thanks to the icons, you kind of understand what they do. Let's go to the camera. Like I said, it's a 3.2 megapixel and uh, can record at 480p. 15 FPS. Let's look at the settings here and to be more precise, I'm going to take the pen. Yeah, volume buttons are the zoom. It can take 322 pictures. Yeah. Left and right and the D-pad adjust the brightness. Night mode, let's deactivate it. Temporizer, GPS. That's kind of it. Album. Well, we shouldn't have anything. Or at least one picture. I don't know for sure. Yeah, the normal pictures that comes in it. It's a name that it closes. <laughs> yeah. And, and to take a picture, you either press here or here. Or let's take a video. Okay. Night mode. MMS when the microphone is activated. Let's take a picture. Can delete it, send it. Of course, I'm going to delete it. Now let's get out of here. You can change this menu. Uh, this is the menu Messages, Facebook, Calendar medias and, and panels. You can change the panel. Like basically the home screen. Yeah, it tingles. This is one version. And I I have accidentally selected it, but it's not a problem. Yeah, you can show the weather, battery. Oh this is the favorites. everything well luckily the memo the sim card isn't uh, activated but well, it, it is activated but it doesn't have any credit or internet oh it also comes with google maps which i wonder if it will still work oh it's in romanian which might mean that this phone was not with uh, google maps as standard Well, like any Windows phone, you have pretty <laughs> capabilities. Let's check the folders. My documents, my device. I can just use like a normal phone with buttons, but uh, I prefer like this. Also, I can use the Windows button here to go into the menu and select like this all the apps if I don't want to use the touch screen. YouTube. Let's check if YouTube still works. I'm curious to see. I've already changed the panel. Now we have quick access here. Wi Fi. I'll try to activate the Wi Fi so we can test it. Oh, it's sounded. Accept. Internet connect. Let me put the password. I've entered the password. It should connect, basically. <laughs> Let's see if it connected. Let's try again. If this thing works, that would be awesome, but I highly, yeah. Problem with network connection. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Uh, I have turned off Wi-Fi. Anyway, yeah, there was a thing about connecting these old devices to Wi-Fi. I don't know what. Maybe the I the Wi-Fi frequency is different now. Let's see the calculator. Basic. Well, not quite basic, but basic enough. 
Internet Explorer. Yeah, you are typically Internet Explorer. The only way to do it, maybe if you can have the Opera browser, but it would be a bit hard to find now. Text chat messages. Office Mobile 2010. Ah, we have Microsoft Word. And where's the exclamation? Oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm deleting everything. No. Because it should be the task manager. <laughs> we can see how much all of this occupy of it. Calendar. No, oh, notes. You can actually, <laughs> well, write it. And how do I delete it? Okay. Oh, I have, I have actually created them. If you hold on uh, something, it's basically right click. Well, like on all the other current devices like Android and iOS, if you hold it, you get the menu. Oh, Windows Media Player. Like it, it is what it is, Windows Media Player. Adobe Reader, <laughs> Bing, no. Introduction only, let's check the games. Solitaire. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and universal search. Ah, on the internet, okay. Ah, you can basically call like that. Okay. Oh, not this, let's go to... Oh. And configure. Let's go to system. It's pretty snappy. I like it. Only 32 megabytes free. <laughs> oh, here it is. Whatever that means. <coughs> Let's check the tones. Kind of the same thing. Let's try the Sonny Rickson. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so a mini Windows device in your hand. I do have to take a picture. Any... No, wait, no. Camera.
Let's see how the quality of the picture is. Images and videos. Oh. DCIM. Yeah, this is it. Does it have gestures? No, it does not. And this is only the volume. I don't know what this means. Oh, send it. Zoom. Okay. Sure. Well, I need the pen again. Okay, the photo quality is not bad. Need to press a bit hard on the screen, but I am hesitating because I don't want to. Hey, hey, my mini crap! I don't want to damage it, you know. Maximum zoom. Not bad. Uh, how to? How to delete this thing? <laughs> Eliminar C, so Spanish it is. Right. So this phone is pretty snappy for its time. That is pretty good. Usually Sony Ericsson with Symbian or other operating system doesn't work too well, but this one one works uh, awesome. You can install apps and uninstall them, but uh, kind of hard to find nowadays. You can still use this phone as your main phone, it still has signal, it's a 3G phone. So until they turn up the antennas, it should work, it should still work, at least at least 2025. So you can send uh, messages, SMSs actually, and uh, make calls. You can use the camera, you can use the media player, and you can put some headphones in. The loudspeaker is decent, so not bad. The video quality it's uh, 480p, you kind of guess. So that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. This was my review of the S Pen, Sony Ericsson S Pen, or M1i, however you like it. This should be a good thumbnail. Yeah. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I wish you a very awesome day just like yourself and all the best. Bye.